Which case are you using right now and what is your opinion on it? Let me know in the comments. Number 5. Lian Li Lan Cool 205 – Best Budget Option Lian Li is a brand anyone hunting for the best PC case will be familiar with. The company is known for exquisite style and phenomenal build quality, making any PC build stunning. But some of the company's best comes with a price premium. It's probably not the first brand you're going to think of if you're thinking to build a lower budget gaming PC. That's where the Lancool 205 mesh comes in. It's towards the higher reaches of what you might consider mid-range, but it's still an affordable PC case. Better still, it's an affordable PC case packed with that premium Lian Li style. The Lancool 205 mesh takes up to an ATX motherboard and a whole bunch of cooling. The front can take a pair of 140mm fans or a 280mm radiator, and the back is good for a 120mm exhaust fan, and in the top, there's also space for another pair of 140mm fans or a 280mm radiator. The Lian Li Lancool 205 mesh is almost impossible to fault, offering a stunning design at a reasonable price that lends itself to a truly special-looking PC build. Lian Li consistently makes outstanding PC cases, and the Lancool 205 mesh is no exception. I am a little nervous about the long-term dust factor of having a mesh front and no traditional dust filter, but at the same time, it's incredible how much air it pulls through and how cool everything is inside. Number 4. Be Quiet Pure Base 500DX – Best Value the Be Quiet Pure Base 500DX is an easy-to-use chassis with lots of included extras and great thermal performance. Just know it needs quiet components to keep noise level down under load. The Pure Base 500DX might be the most unbe quiet case the company has ever built. It's the first chassis from Be Quiet that comes with addressable RGB, and the huge mesh front intake is arguably the last thing to come out of Be Quiet's factory. The two front RGB strips at the center of the chassis each have 14 individually addressable LEDs, and the internal strip that hides above the tempered glass panel has another 10. The internal layout of the Pure Base 500DX is about as bog standard as it gets, and that's a good thing. Gone is the excessive space at the front for external drives and tons of HDDs. For cooling, the chassis comes with three 900 RPM Pure Wings 2 fans that use voltage control for regulation. 3 pin. The top of the chassis can support up to a 240mm radiator and the front a 360mm unit. All that said, the price you pay for all the case's good qualities is noise. As soon as the NVIDIA Founders Edition GPU comes into play, it becomes clear why noise-conscious builders would want a more silent chassis. However, most of the time your system will likely be close to idle temperature as you're browsing the web doing light work. And if you're willing to spend some time optimizing your fan curves, the PureBase 900DX can be set up to run quietly when it doesn't have to work hard. Number 3. NZXT H710i – Best for Most People For a premium chassis, the NZXT H710i has a clean, minimal look, with some smart creature comforts that'll have seasoned PC builders smiling. A slightly lower price would make it a solid value, too. If you're familiar with the H700i, you'll notice that the H710i doesn't do a whole lot different here compared to that first iteration. However, that's not a bad thing, as the H710i's internal layout is nothing short of impressive. No expense has been spared when it comes to ensuring your build experience is as seamless and pleasant as possible. The big changes from the NZXT H700i internally include revisions to that front-facing SSD mount we mentioned before, in other words, it's removed, there's no unsightly holes or blemishes. Improvements to the NZXT CamSmart fan device and the inclusion of that vertical GPU mount. Ultimately, the H710i is a pleasure to build in. It looks great, and compared to its predecessor, the H700i packs in some nifty little features that really separated out from the rest of the premium ATX tower pack and landed at third place at publication time on our list of best mid-tower cases. It's not perfect, but for a mid-tower chassis at this price point, it exudes that premium feel throughout and performs just as well. Definitely one of the best. Number 2. Fractal Design Meshify C – Best Runner-Up Fractal's naming system is getting a little cluttered. The Meshify C is 100% a defined CTG with an angular stealth-inspired front panel that looks like black diamond facets, according to Fractal. 
It is a cool look, and it breaks away from the current trend of plain flat front panels in a way that's reminiscent of the Corsair Spec 04. The solid front panel used in previous designs reflected some internal component noise back into the case, so your new build might be a little noisier. Yet, we're no longer forcing the intake fans to draw air through thin slots on the sides of the front panel, so your new build might also be a little cooler. Front panel connections at the top include just two USB 3.0 headers, headphone and microphone jacks, along with power and reset buttons. The mesh top panel cover behind it is affixed via magnetic strips. The mesh of IC includes separate screw packs for the motherboard and drives, cable ties, standoffs, a Philips head adapter socket to help builders install the standoffs, documentation, and a cleaning cloth. The Define C, for example, doesn't have a tempered glass side panel, so buyers trying to decide between the S340 Elite and Meshify C probably aren't even considering the elder product. If you want one of the most premium-looking and performing PC cases, you should definitely check this one out. Number 1. Corsair 4000D Airflow – Best Overall Corsair's 4000D Airflow lives up to its name with plenty of front-to-back cooling clearance, but it could use some more ports. Still, it's a solid value among budget ATX chassis and looks good if you kit it out carefully. The 4000X RGB comes with three fans behind a tempered glass panel at the front of the chassis. The 4000D will come with two non-RGB fans, with the front either covered with a solid metal slab or a meshed front panel on the 4000D Airflow. Other than those differences, the cases are all identical to one another. Circling around the case, it's clear what Corsair's design philosophy was with the 4000 series – simple, clean, and minimalist. The I.O. resides at the top of the chassis, and though I like the clean appearance of minimal connectivity, I prefer having ample ports. A single USB 3.0 port next to a Type-C port with a mic-headphone combo jack works, but you'll find yourself often reaching around the rear of the system for additional USB ports. Though it has a few limitations, Corsair's 4000D Airflow is overall a fine budget to mid-range case. Building an uncomplicated air-cooled system inside it was mostly free of hurdles. The case may not be the most original of designs, but it does look nice when kitted out with a full complement of components and RGB lights. Buying Guide Are PC cases important? While the biggest draw of PC cases is typically their aesthetics, cases do play a significant role in the cooling process of your computer. Keeping your components cool is obviously an important part of building and maintaining a computer. Your PC case will also determine what kind of CPU cooler you can get. Size Before anything else, you should decide what size case you need. As you may know, there are three major case sizes – Full Tower, Mid Tower, and Mini ITX. The mid-tower and the full-tower cases both fit standard ATX motherboards, but they can also fit smaller micro-ATX motherboards. The full-tower cases are massive, and I'd recommend these if you plan on loading up your rig with extensive water cooling, three- and four-way graphics card setups, or storage galore. On the other hand, the mini-ITX cases are built for diminutive mini-ITX motherboards. PSU there are cases out there that ship together with a power supply unit, but while it might be tempting to get one such case and save a few bucks on the power supply, it may not be a good idea. The PSU is one of the essential components of any PC, and if you're investing any serious amount of money in a gaming setup, you'll want to make sure that you've got an